Hey everyone, uh, Graz here from the GKBC. Um, <clears throat> I'm here to give you a minor reading update, uh, show you something amazing the doctor made me, and then I'm going to talk about section one of Thirsty Mermaids. So first off, the reading update. I am go not going to make 10,000 words or 10,000 pages this month. Uh, I started really slow in the month and then I picked up and I've been doing great ever since then, but I started off too slow. So I'm, but I'm still going to be, um, maybe around 8,500 pages, which is still insane. I did, I did really well this month. Uh, and I'm over 20 books. I might even get to that mythical 25 finally. That's, but that's, that's all I'm going to talk about for that. Um, the daughter suggested that I read one of her graphic novels that we saw on Wicked Pluto's uh, shelf tour on her video. Um, she showed her graphic novels and one of them was Lore Olympus. And da Evelyn said, well, I've got that. And she was kind of telling me a little bit about it and I wanted to read it. So I read the first volume and I told her how much I liked it and she drew me <clears throat> her own of Artemis and Persephone, which is really cool. And it's amazing. And I'm going to get a frame and it's going to go on the wall because I think she did it great. So that's going to be a, a prized possession now. So Laura Olympus, and I'm going to read the next three. And then I read somewhere that four and five well, I'm going to read two and three, and then uh, four and five are going to come out later this year. Four is going to be out in the next couple weeks, so that's kind of neat. Well, anyway, now for the reason of this video. I've been thinking about this a lot. Um, every Wednesday, Michael K. Vaughn and St. Donahue uh, do their World's Finest team-up, where they talk about a comic book or a graphic novel subject. Uh, and I was inspired by that and I got Tad on board um, well you know more like me and Tad were inspired I don't want to make it just my idea uh, so every other week <clears throat> we're gonna read a graphic novel or comic book and talk about it so I've been thinking about it and if Tad's okay with it I think it's kind of neat to call it because if you remember if anybody remembers in the 70s Marvel had a comic book called Marvel Team Up so this is Tad and I's marvelous team up. Um, and we're starting with Thirsty Mermaids by Cat Lee. Cat Lee, whatever. Uh, we only read the first 29 pages, which is section one. Um, I'm still kind of chuckling. This is hilarious. It, it, it's hilarious. It's basically three mermaids who want to get drunk. And they're mermaids, and they're at the bottom of the ocean, so there's no alcohol. So they have to go to land and find alcohol. So one of the three mermaids is a sea witch, who's hilarious. Um, and she does a spell, and they come out of the water. And... <laughs> They're walking around, or the earth, they take the first steps. I don't know if you can see her right there. Oh boy, she's turning the thing. It's gonna get blurry. <laughs> We're screwed. All right. Um, she falls down. She can't get her feet right. It's hilarious. Oh my lord. Um, her trying to walk, and it's like everywhere. She's just falling down. It's amazing, and it just shows her shaking. And she's like, "How are you two using your? How are you both so good at walking already?" Blah, blah, blah. And then the one says, I don't know, just use your foot fingers better. Wow. It's, it's amazing. Um, it's so great. And then, I couldn't believe it. There's this. There's this page. Uh, we make fun of this all the time when we're watching music lists and stuff. The <laughs> sound from the 90s. There it is. They're going to a bar that has it. And it's great because the one girl runs up to the to the 
to the bar, and she's like, three alcohols, please. Three alcohols. They're so funny. And she's like, uh, what kind? And she's like, hmm. And she looks over, and there's a girl with a big frilly thing with an umbrella in it. She goes, that. And they're actually called Thirsty Mermaids. So they're like, that was easy. And then they drink it, and they're like, that'll be $42. And they go, uh, 42 what? They don't realize they have to pay for things. They're so fish out of water. Uh, and then the one, they stole clothes off of a clothesline. And the one just happens to have a, uh, a debit card in it. Uh, and she hands it to them, and they open a tab, and they're like, yes, let's do that. And they get hammered and drunk, and then the end, the end, the end of it is they're passed out in an alley while a, a seagull drops uh, Dale pizza on them. I mean, I just, I can't stop laughing at this stupid book. And it's not stupid, it's just who that she thought of this. It, it's so, like, what were you thinking? It's awesome. It's amazing. Um, I love it. The artwork is, is great. It, 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 it tells the story of the funny and the, and the comedy just perfect. Uh, Let's see, who is the artist? I think it might be Cat Lay. I think she did everything. Um, let me see, is it, on, is it on this? Yeah, writer and artist. So she, 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 draw, draws, and she draws this and she, it even says jacket design and illustration by her. So Cat Lay, or Cat Lee, does the artwork and the, and the writing. That's, I mean, she's, and she did Lumberjanes, which eventually we'll talk about on this channel, too. Um, <clears throat> the, I guess you'd call it dialogue, is spot on. It's exactly what you'd expect from mermaids who decide to come on land and look for alcohol. I mean, they're running into drunks. And they're like, oh, whoa, those two were way too wobbly. Let's find more. I mean, it, it's just... I'm kind of sad it's a one and done a little bit because I think that it's just going to be one of those things that you want more of. Um, I don't want to say it's The Little Mermaid come in an adult fashion, but it kind of is. It's like if Ariel wanted to get on land, I want legs so I can go on land so I can get drunk. It's kind of what it is, except there's three of them. And they don't understand anything. It's, it's so beautiful. <clears throat> anyway, I don't really have a whole lot to say because the section was small and, you know, I just told you basically what it was. So, uh, Tad, if you're good with the name, the Marvelous uh, team up, let me know. Um, if anybody out there has read this, let us know what you think. Go check out Tad's video. I'll link his channel below. I'm going to link Wicked Pluto to below so that she knows that I was talking about Laura Olympus and that I, that she, um, she inspired that and this amazing picture that my daughter drew. Uh, and if you like the daughter's art, I'll link her channel below. She has a channel where she animates and draws and she's part of maps. I guess uh, you animators out there will know what that means. Um, <clears throat> but this is the opening salvo for our new thing that started with Saga, and I just wanted to keep going. Thirsty Mermaids by Cat Lee. I guess we'll just say Cat Lee. Uh, and um, I guess next you'll see me soon with a Lovecraft video maybe that I keep promising everybody. Uh, we're gonna work on maybe a tag for Tuesday. Uh, and obviously I'm gonna have a TBR for June coming up, and then I will definitely come up, uh, out and give you a good May wrap up because this is my biggest month ever. Um, matter of fact, the last two weeks were my first two weeks of the year where I had over 2,000 pages in the seven days. I had 2,400, and then uh, almost 2,200 back-to-back -back weeks, so I really picked it up. But anyway, Thirsty Mermaids, let us know what you think. Um, 
One other thing, anybody that watches this, Tad and I are also doing a buddy read in June on Hyperion by Dan Simmons. If anybody wants to join in, comment below or whatever. Let, let, let one of us know. And until then, read more.